Welcome to my incredible little life. Dealer checking in with you one more time. It is episode 63, and I'm glad to be here. Um, we will get to the title if you read that. Um, I hope it didn't scare you. I'm not really scared, um, but we will get to that. So today was pretty chill for the most part. Um, I didn't have to get up really early for work or anything. It was an off day, so I kind of popped up around 9. So I started my day with a bowl of tricks, you know what I'm saying, a company with some great Digimon to start my day. So I think I watched about two episodes and then I was like, nah, we gotta get to work, you know? So I started cleaning up the house, you know, taking care of the bathroom, taking care of the kitchen, taking care of the countertops and the tables and all that stuff. And as well as my shed it clothes throughout the week. I have a really bad habit of like taking things off and then just leaving it there. Um, so, you can literally like go through the crib and like see where I took off an outfit at and what outfit I was wearing for a certain day. It's kind of a thing, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think. So after all the cleaning, I went and took a shower so I could wash my hair. You know what I'm saying? It's like deep condition, you know what I'm saying? Shampoo, all the good stuff, a little bit of combing and a little bit of shedding of hair, of course, because that's what happens. Um, so I was in there. So this is the part where we talk about diabetes and the possibility that I could have it because I was kind of freaking out today. But at the same time, like now that I went through it or whatever, I'm not really worried about it too much because I've done tons of research. My mom's a holistic coach and all types of stuff. So I know that it's something that's curable slash I can deal with. So I was in the shower, like I said, washing my hair and, and um, I was almost done and I just felt this rush of like loss of energy. I was just like, damn man, like, am I hungry? So I jumped out the shower real quick and got myself some food, but I was trying to do stuff and my hands kept on shaking and my mouth was quivering a little bit and I was like, what's going on here? Like, this doesn't feel right. So I called my brother and he was like, yeah, so you probably should get some juice in you and get some sugar in you. And I was like, okay, he's like, yeah, that sounds like it might be diabetes. And I was like, shit. Just more worried about the idea that I couldn't hold my phone. Like I was talking to him and my voice was quivering. And I was like, this is so weird. This never happens to me or this never has happened to me. Sat down, scarfed down a whole bunch of food and drank some juice. And you know, I was just super duper hungry at that point, I guess, I don't know. And I, my brother called me back and he's like, yeah, you definitely should hit up a doctor's appointment as soon as possible. And I mean, I've been meaning to do that anyway, just to check up on my body, um, like get a physical and all that good stuff. So he was like, yeah, you should do that ASAP because you want to know about it and see what you can do about it, you know, as soon as possible. So that happened. And that was probably the most like exciting thing slash horrible thing slash bad news that happened today. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I'm not a person that believes in going to WebMD right after finding something out or having these symptoms because it's just like, you can get just lost in it that you automatically have it. So I did watch one video not too long ago, but it was after like my day was kind of done and I'd settled down or whatever, just to check, you know, um, if it was a possibility. But watch one video, I didn't go crazy. And, but um, so I'm gonna be set up an appointment probably tomorrow get this all figured out and squared away. See where we can go as moving forward. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference to me, honestly, based on the fact that I'm already on the path to, you know, push myself and push myself back on the path of getting healthy and losing the weight as well as, you know, just eating better, um, which is happening steadily. You know what I'm saying? It's not where I want it to be, but it's definitely happening steadily. So. After that, I did my hair, which took forever, but I felt really good about it. Every time I go to like take down my hair, you know, it's always this long process that feels like it just never ends. And I mean, today it was long as like a good four hours of doing my hair, which I feel like is gonna get better. But this time I was like confident. I felt way better about it, I don't know. For me, I always try to just throw globs of product all over my hair and try to comb my hair from front to back and I didn't do that this time. I did a lot of sectioning and 
My hair looks like trash because I did a lot of twist and it just looks horrible. I'm not gonna share it, not today. But it, it, it's it's pretty bad. The twists are pretty bad, but, but the thing is for me is that I really wanted to get this taken care of as soon as possible because I know that it's gonna hinder me throughout the weekend and it's gonna be like a point of interest for me to take care of it. So I just like, let me just tie it all up and put in the twist and then we are gonna be good until the next hairstyle, which is probably gonna be by next week, hopefully. So yeah, hit that up. So I watched even more Digimon. I probably like binged probably 10 episodes today or whatever. Got done, I'm happy about it. I felt successful afterwards because I dread doing my hair and I actually felt good about it today, which is funny because I've, been, I've had hair for a very long time and I haven't felt this way before. So I, I'm grateful. So I felt like the channel was lacking something. I took it away for a very long time and I thought it is time to bring it back. So you guys enjoy this. You guys tell me your thoughts. It is the end of the video, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great night and have a great day. Peace.